Marvel Future Revolution is dead and it is all because of Netmarble. They refuse to communicate with the community and it's because of that, because of that. Also, sprinkle in a heavy load of greediness, you get the perfect recipe of how to kill a game. We've already speculated, is this game going to be good or is this game you know, going to survive all this and that? The reality here is that the game died. That's what happened. The game died. The only thing we are right now trying to see is if it's going to at least be able to continue going because this game is not going to get anywhere to the potential that it could have gone. Look at the game. The game looks fantastic. Graphics, you know, gameplay, so many things. The foundation for this game is so good, but they ruined it. They dropped the ball so bad here, guys. They dropped the ball. They had a gold mine and they ruined it. Their greediness, the way they're handling the situation is just um, just horrible. It is how they are doing the worst job. And this is why Netmarble is getting so much hate for every game that they do. Every time Netmarble is behind a game, there's so much hype that automatically gets lost. As soon as people find out that Netmarble is behind it, because they know one thing, they know that Netmarble is going to get their IP and a popular IP or, a you know, any game, and they're going to start off the right through the gate. Very greedy. They're going to start very greedy. And next thing you know, they're going to basically the game goes into maintenance mode. Because it's going to get overbalanced, not overbalanced, but it's going to get very unbalanced so fast. They want to capitalize on the beginning of the hype and make as much money as they can and then move on to the next project. This is as we there. They have done this with so many other games. I've been doing research and seeing all the other games that they've been doing this on. And it's like, wow, it looks like they do this with every single game. Look at Nino Kuni. Look at what happened with that. It was so, so good. And bam, dropped. It's still making money, but still. Now, when it comes to these big IPs, that's why, you know, some people are like excited for the Game of Thrones. I think that as, as much as I would love it to be like an amazing game, the fact that Net Marble is behind that game is the reason why I'm like, you know what? They're gonna come out the gate greediness. And if this, if there's like PvP in this, oh, trust me, it's gonna be the same thing as Marvel Future Revolution. Marvel Future Revolution could have been the best game, mobile game of all time. Of all time. Look at what they had. Except they were so greedy. And then the, the, right now, the biggest thing that they could be doing right now is also free, is communicating. And they still do not know how to communicate. They do not know how to communicate with the community. It's like they're allergic to communicating. Look at the official Discord. Look everywhere else. They just don't. They, they refuse to communicate. They refuse to give us any little detail of the future. They rather keep us over here and guess what is going on with the game. Now, it is another week. It is another week, guys. And we are trying to figure out, will the dev note come out this week? We don't know. We don't know. Like I said, do not expect anything from this game. If you enjoy the game for what it is now, then continue playing. But do not continue playing in hopes that this game is going to improve. Because the best thing that we're all the thing that we're worried about now is, is this game going to still have the lights on for how much longer? So the question is, why should we invest in a game where they're not even investing in us? They're not. Why should we spend money if they're just treating us like we're just money symbols, right? And if we were money symbols, you, don't you think we would be, they would be communicating? Don't you think that they would be communicating with us? That seems a little, that's, that's what I don't understand here, guys. This is what I don't understand. Like, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? This is, they're, they're not doing a good job. The, the game, look, the reason why I say Modern Future Revolution is dead, okay? It is dead. There is no way this game is going to recover from the amount of shit this game has gotten, okay? They, they will, this, this game will never, there was a time, okay? 
where I thought that, okay, this is in beta and they're going to start freaking releasing some crazy stuff and then they're going to bring it and it's going to be one of the best games out there. That is long and gone. I do not expect that anymore. The only thing here that would that that is possible is them to keep it j a good enough for the lights to stay on. That's it. But don't expect this game to get better than what it is right now. Expect, you know, what we're all expecting now is like, are we just going to get like, you know, it's it's going to it's pretty much in maintenance mode already after one year after one year. OK, they didn't even celebrate their one year anniversary. Oh, man, I didn't want to, <laughs> you know, that they're the most important day of the year. They don't even celebrate it. Not even a, hey, happy anniversary. They released the Wolverine update that clearly looks like that was supposed to be the one year anniversary. And yet they don't even say anything. They don't say anything. Now, I tried to not have to come and make a video like this, but how long are they going to go? Every day I'm here looking for any type of information and we're within Mara Future Fight is over here dropping sneak peek, sneak peek, sneak peek, sneak peek. Look at the sneak peeks they're dropping. It looks like they made that little teaser in like in an hour. It's not very, it looks very cheap. It doesn't matter. It still gets everybody hyped. It gets everybody hyped. Look what's going on. Content creators have ammo. They, they got content to make. We as content creators for Mara Future Revolution, we're over here on the side of the street looking like homeless people begging for change you know like we we just want like what give us something throw us a bone over here um uh, uh, what, what is it epic uh epic invasions epic invasions what is going on why have we not got another epic invasion yet what is the, what reason how hard is it to just be like get an epic invasion that we already have already made and already came out like at the Magneto one and just throw it out there? Whoa, what is so difficult about that? That's what I want to know. And they, they refuse to communicate. They refuse to drop anything. They refuse to give us the 8999 monthly bundles. <laughs> That's why I didn't, I told you guys, don't expect anything for September because they didn't drop the bundles, which they normally drop guys. They, and they normally drop companions. They haven't dropped companions. They haven't dropped the 89. They haven't even added new shop, you know, shop items. That's the biggest sign. So when I say that the game is dead guys, when I say that the game is dead, that means that it's never, it's, it's, this is it. This is the, the, all the, ex, the expectations that we have of this ever becoming the game that we thought it was going to be is never going to be that. They clearly are showing us that they don't care about this game. They don't, they don't, they don't, <laughs> they don't care about this game. They don't care about us. They're already they're they're worried about other games and stuff like that. If they did, somebody would have been saying something in the Discord. We haven't even seen CM Carroll. We haven't seen anybody. They closed down the CCC program. What's next? They they what 70% of the devs got cut. 70%. What was it in July? In July, that happened. And we didn't even know about it until the, what, the end of August? Ain't that something, guys. Ain't that something. This game was supposed to be the game to take over after Marvel Future Fight. They did so bad that Marvel Future Fight looks like it's going to have another seven years. <laughs> Marvel Future Fight is going to have another seven years. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Prove me wrong, that marble. 
prove me wrong. Show me that the game is not dead. Show me that the game is not dead. Because right now, I'm saying Marvel Future Revolution is dead. Is dead. Ask yourself, if you're watching this video, ask yourself, why should I spend money on a game that isn't investing in me? Why should I invest in a game when you guys are not even investing in us? That is the question, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you guys think the game is still alive? Do you have any hope that this game is going to survive and become something different? I don't think so, guys. I do not think so. Like and subscribe.